Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install BSL shaders step by step. I even do some troubleshooting, so if you're running into problems, you know, like common problems, I'll let you know what to do in that case so that you can still get the shaders to work. Now, do note that BSL shaders do require a pretty good computer, so a low-end system probably will not run BSL shaders, but on the other hand, you can also use this tutorial for other shaders because the process will be very, very similar. So what you're going to want to do now is open up your web browser, go to optifine.net. A link to this will also be down in the description as well as all of the other links that I'm going to be using in this video. So the description is really where you want to be at if you don't want to do all the work yourself. So on this website, optifine.net, you want to go over to downloads and in this top one, it will say optifine 1.16.2, which is an official release. And um, what you're going to want to do is actually just click download. It's really simple. You're going to be redirected to this ad page, but I feel like these ads on optifine.net are not as aggressive, which I truly appreciate. I mean, I know um, the creator of Optifine has to make some money off of Optifine, obviously, so these ad pages probably will do that. Um, but these are actually kind of appropriate, and uh, just don't click anything if you're not interested. Just click skip after a few seconds here, and you'll be redirected to this download page where there will again be some ads. Don't click that. Sometimes they'll, these will be more like tempting. They'll say something like download, but just click this right here with the little down arrow in front of it. It should download a file something like Optifine 1.16.2. Now, after you download the file, you'll actually be redirected most of the time to another ad. You can just head into a new tab and close this one. So now that we've actually successfully downloaded Optifine, you can see here, um, for me, it has this little icon, this little Java icon, but for some people it does not. And so if you cannot actually click this and um, get prompted with this, where it says Java platform as the binary, then you know, there's something we need to take care of. So I'm going to set this to always open .jar files with Java, which is good because we need that. Um, I'm not going to install just yet because I'm going to show you what to do if this does not work. You want to head into Google and type in Jarfix, which is a program that someone made to actually fix these files and get them to be opened with Java. So it's kind of hard to navigate through this website, but right over here, it should say something like jarfix.exe. You click that and you just execute that. It will be an administrator um, program, so you have to run it as an administrator. Um, and there you go, this is pretty much just it. It has been re registered successfully for me, it already had been, but for you probably it hadn't, or else you would have just skipped to the next bit. And so now we can actually get to installing Optifine, which is still not the shaders, but we're gonna need Optifine to run shaders. So what you're gonna wanna do now is actually launch Minecraft. This might seem really weird, but if you haven't actually played Minecraft 1.16.2 without Optifine, Optifine is not going to be able to install itself on top of that. So what you're going to want to do is just get a profile that says latest release 1.16.2. If you don't have a profile that says that, then you can create a new profile. I'm going to name it Daniel Plays. You can name it whatever you want. Feel free uh, to name it Daniel Plays as well. You, I mean, you're always free to do that. Um, and then select under version, select the latest release 1.16.2 click create and there we go we now have a profile that's called Daniel place it's got this little furnace icon and we can click play now we're gonna have to let it download for a little bit I'll be back with you in just a second when the download has finished so the download has actually finished and Minecraft should just load now and as soon as we get to the main menu we can just click quit game let's wait for Minecraft to load there we are Music is already starting up, so let's just hit quit game. And now we actually have the files for Minecraft 1.16. So what we can do now is go back to whatever browser you were using, and I'm gonna use the shortcut to access the downloads. And over here, we have the Optifine 1.16.2 download jar. Clicking it will open up an installer, and all you've got to do now is actually hit install. And that should do the trick. It'll freeze for a few seconds, and it'll say Optifine is successfully installed. Now after this, we can actually already get to installing shaders. So for this video, we're going to be using BSL shaders because it's an incredibly popular shaders. And I actually understand that because they just look gorgeous, honestly. I'm going to just type in BSL shaders and go to the first link there because that's CurseForge and uh, they usually have the right files. 
So Minecraft 1.16 here, it's version 7.2 fix one. Apparently, I don't know what that means, but there we go. Now let's just download this. There we go. And as you can see, we've actually just downloaded a zip file. And what you're gonna wanna do now is actually, well, we're actually going to drag this over to the, um, to the desktop, just like this. We're gonna load up Minecraft again. And now it should have a profile called Optifine. If it doesn't, then you just have to click this, uh, this menu right here and select the version that will say Optifine. And so here we go, Optifine. Let's just click play. Let Minecraft, you know, load again because we will need to get into the actual game to be able to install shaders very easily. So there we go. This is Minecraft 1.16.2. It will say modded, which pretty much means that you've pretty much 100% accurately installed Optifine. So to actually check whether that's true, you go into, well, let me do that again, options, video settings, and there in the bottom left corner, it should say Optifine HD G3 or G4, maybe like a newer version that's possible, um, Ultra. And the bottom right here will say Minecraft 1.16.2. So that's great. And actually something else that you should have noticed by now is that it will say shaders over here, which is great. So there's internal shaders, which, you know, they don't really do that much, but what I actually want it to uh, do this for is because we now have a shaders folder button right here. So we can just open the shaders folder. We don't have to do anything, but just open the shaders folder, drag in this zip file that we had here, the BSL shaders, drag it in right there. I actually put the Minecraft launcher in there as well. I don't know why, but there we go. The BSL shaders are now there. We can head out and it's actually already in here. So what might happen occasionally is that um, it will not show up immediately. So what you're gonna wanna do is just click done, done and done and just click go into options again and repeat this process and it will pop up right there. You know, sometimes it just needs a little refresh. So there we go, we can now click BSL. And as you can see, it has actually applied BSL shaders to Minecraft now. To prove this to you, I'm actually gonna be visiting my own Minecraft server. It's not public yet, we're working on that. Um, I'll keep you posted on that, but you know, for now, I just wanna show you the actual shaders and actually prove to you that they work. So there we go. This is actually it. I mean, I know my Minecraft window is fairly small probably, but look at that. We were actually, we're actually using shaders. I can probably even make it sunny, uh, weather clear for a long time, just like that. Yeah, would you look at that? Now, doesn't that just look gorgeous? I sure do think so. So there we go. We've successfully installed BSL shaders on top of Minecraft 1.16.2. This is the whole process. So I hope this helped out. I hope the jar fix actually fixed most of your problems literally because I keep getting a lot of comments from people that say, well, my jar files aren't, you know, opened with um, Java, but rather with something like WinRAR or something like that. And that's because these programs tend to just kind of hijack the extension. They tend to just like, you know, like, can we open the jar files, please? Please? So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's been it for this video. I hope this actually worked. If it did, then of course, hit that thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. And of course, if you wanna see more of these kind of videos, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And without further ado, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.